What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Medieval Engineers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we managed to get um, our farming kind of going, as in I planted pumpkins and felt proud of myself. Uh, I also managed to get the... what is this thing again? Something mill. Millstone. Um, I guess mill something is actually the more accurate term there. Um, which I haven't really seen much of a need yet until probably more some, some more advanced researching and stuff like that. We also got some large stones and iron and we made a pickaxe and we made a hand plow and just stuff and things. Um, before we get going though, I do have to address a couple things. Uh, the first being, um, as many of you are probably aware at this point, because, you know, if you've watched any of my videos this week, it's already been how I started all of the videos, just so that everybody was clear. I only did it because some people watch one series and n n nothing else, so then they wouldn't understand what's going on in the episode. But, um, there was some extenuating circumstances in the behind-the-scenes part of my personal life. Uh, there was a death in the family. Um, it was my grandfather's old war buddy that it be it basically became uh, an adopted uncle, essentially, to my mom and her brothers and sisters and such, um, to, as much that he was basically, like, family to everybody. Um, and he passed away the other day. He was 97, though, so kudos to him. I mean, stubborn dude, like, really cool dude, but stubborn. Like, when he put his mind to something, he was gonna do it. And so, yeah. He made it all the way to 97, but he really wasn't doing that well, even though he made it that far. And so, in a way, it was it was kind of a blessing for him. Um, everybody else obviously misses him, but they understand and actually are, are glad for him, because he wasn't doing really that well. Um, but anyways, I say that to say that um, it impacted my recording schedule, obviously. Um, but the... and I'm okay with that. I mean, that kind of stuff happens, and you just gotta deal with it. But rather than just posting a tweet or something being like, hey, no, nope, couldn't do it this week, couldn't do any recording, sorry you guys are up a creek, I figured it was best to try and cram as much done as I could, so I ended up recording all of these episodes for this entire week from Elite on to this episode of Medieval Engineers in a day. It was not easy, and I'm very tired, but it's done. Or it's, well, it's about to be done. Anyway, um... And so, basically, the, the the big reason was that my parents were leaving town to go to the funeral, obviously. And um, some of you may be aware, I don't know that I brought it up in Medieval Engineers at all, so if you've only watched the series, you wouldn't, but my dog has a medical issue at the moment where he has a sore on his foot and we can't leave him alone or else he chews it up and makes it worse. So he pretty much has to watch him all the time at the moment until it goes away. Small problem, he makes it a big deal, <laughs> basically. Um... And normally my mom and I had been switching off in almost like shifts type of thing to make sure he was always under observation. Um, and with her gone, I have to watch him all the time, which is fine. He's my dog, so it's my responsibility anyway. But that meant I really didn't have time to record this week while they were out of town. So it was either nothing or do it all at once. So I opted to do it all at once. Now this has a couple of different things involved. One, I may not get too much done because I have a very limited time, as in, you know, I had to, normally I do a couple episodes in a day, and I think usually three or four, and today I did seven in one day. So, you know, not by themselves is not a big issue, but... Really? Really? There's just like a billion flax right there, five feet from my house? How did I never find that? I've walked past this hill like six times, at least. What? I, I give up. Um, I give up on gaming. Uh, <laughs> and there's more. Gosh. I'm just gonna stop trying to do gaming correctly. I don't do it well anyway. Um, anyways, moving right along. I figured while I'm talking about all this, I can be hunting for flax, and apparently it's working out rather well. Um, so yeah pretty much having to cram it all into one day had two issues that it, it, it kind of cropped up. One, um, there wasn't nearly much time for off-camera work, and so any of these times where normally it's like, I'm gonna go hunt down flax, say, 
for example, and I'll be right back, you know, and then it would do my, my, I personally am a fan of my little transition. Um, I like it. And, um, then I'd be back and things would be done. Well, I can't really do that this episode, or at least not very much, like very, very small little pause segments, but not, you know, it took me a couple hours, but I'm done now. You know, none of that stuff is probably going to happen. So progress wise, I really don't know how much progress we're going to make in these episodes for this week. Um, well, I should say for this one, because all the other ones are done, so I do know how much progress I made in those. Um, some of them were more than I expected, to be honest, and, uh, like, particularly Starbound. Starbound, I got a lot done this week for not having a whole lot of time, um, to work on it. But anyways, how much, um, flax do I actually have now? Nine! Nice. I should have probably checked before I left on how many I actually need. I want to say I need 15 for one research, though, so we need a lot. It's always the thing that you need the most that is, like, the most scarce to find, right? Like every other, for example, uh, okay, that's five. Fine, make a liar out of me. Pumpkins. You need two to make a seed bag, which does like five or six. Cabbage is five, fine. Flax is five. Um, herbs are two. Wheat's two, but yeah, cabbage and, yeah. Mm -hmm. The ones that, the, the flax is the one that I need for research and through rope and other things. You know, but yeah. Yeah, let's just make that the one that needs to have the most. Sure, why not? Thanks, game. <sighs> I digress. Anyways, um, what was I talking about? <laughs> I got all, got all like, uh, idealistic on that real quick there. Kind of lost my train of thought. Anyways, oh, I was talking about progress and things. So, yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to actually get done in each episode, but it's just I'm kind of lemonade out of lemons this week. Just life happens, stuff happens, you got to roll with it, and... I felt it was best to do something that maybe didn't make a whole lot of progress, but at least gave people something to do or watch, uh, rather than just a, hey, something came up and, and there's just no episodes this week. Because it was, it was rather sudden when all this started going on. I mean, uh, my parents were kind of planning to go visit him anyway, but the timetable got moved up rather quickly, and so it was kind of like, hey, we're leaving in a, a day or two. And I was like, okay. Um, I'm, I'm just going to go lock myself into my room for a few hours and, and see if I can, get, see if I can get this stuff done. So yeah, uh, kind of, kind of just working, rolling with what I got. Um, the second thing I wanted to bring up though, is I don't think I've ever had it referenced in this series. Did I just walk over? I did not. Okay. Uh, in this series, but in a couple of my other series, I had a couple of different times where people would reference that, um, the sound was off. And it would do this weird thing where uh, right after a transition, then it would be quiet for a few seconds and then it would pick back up and be loud again. And I don't really know how that got started. I've wrestled with it for years now and I thought I had it fixed and then recently it reared its head again. Um, I don't know what changed. I haven't changed my process for editing things in a long time. So I don't really know why it came up now, but it did. Um, and anyways, the short version to that one is that I changed up how I'm doing my effects because according to an article that I read on a forum, um, while I was looking for answers on that particular problem, I found that someone had said it was isolated to the denoiser effect in Premiere, which I do actually use for my videos to cut the fan sounds from my computer out of the videos and stuff. Um, denoiser, dehummer, and I think I use something else, but it's one of those things where I don't know how I got to using those and how the settings came about, but because I've used them for a while and they kind of work, I just, it's like black magic. I just don't mess with it and I just repeat the process. <laughs> I forget how I came to that conclusion, but what I found worked, so I kind of just leave it alone. Um, so yeah. Um, I changed it up and I'm using, instead of using effects on each individual video clip, which was what I did before, um, I'm using the audio mix panel now to apply the effects to the whole audio track that the videos are involved in. And so far in my one, I edited one of my videos that way already and it seemed to uh, clear it up, at least I think it did. So that would be one of those I'm looking for your guys' feedback on that, that if everything 
sounds fine, great. If you hear anything weird or if it's still doing that, we're after a transition or something, it'll, you know, be quiet for a second and then, you know, let me know. But um, if everything is working good in it, because I'm doing it a little differently, like I said, I don't normally mess with it once I got it working, so I don't know if it'll cause any new effects as far as, like, because you did it a little differently, now the sound needs to be tweaked or something like that. So if you hear anything odd, different, weird, unexpected, just let me know. Um, and, every, and if everything sounds good, then cool. Um, as f That's pretty much the topic things I needed to get out of the way, so now we can kind of deal exclusively with what's going on here. I've got 10 flax, uh, so that's good. I don't know how much each seedling produces, because the pumpkins gave me a lot, but I don't really know how much the flax ones do, and I'm a little leery of turning them into seeds when I only have 10 and I need, like, you know, five per seed bag. I wish it would tell you... Yeah, it doesn't tell you. I wish it would tell you how many it would actually give you when you make it. I feel like that would be kind of helpful. I still can't believe there was just a big patch of them right right here. Like, I've passed this hill so many times. And they, they just they weren't there to me. I didn't see them. <sighs> oh, well. Um, on that note, we do need to check. Because I know I needed flax for something. Oh, there is one other thing I wanted to bring up. I totally found this by accident, by the way. Um, I was trying to move my furnace. Because, as some of you may be aware, the furnace is loose. It's not set in the ground. You can kind of kick it around, which doesn't seem good, right? Actually, it sounds like I'm destroying it, which is bad. And I went to destroy it, which I thought was right-click. And when I right-clicked on it with an open hand, because I thought I had my hanger... My... <laughs> hanger. I thought I was holding my hanger. It had all the jets and everything. Wow. Hammer. It's spelled a little different. Um, but yeah, I thought I had my hammer equipped. And I had an open hand and I right clicked on it and I got a rope thing. That I have no idea where that came from. I, I Like nothing in the game told me I had a rope that I could drag things around with. Um, and I'm guessing that the green is the tension. So if I go out to the red, I'm guessing it snaps the rope. Yep, it does. So, yeah, totally didn't know that was a thing, but apparently it is. So, let's see if I can... Um, I'm getting dirt and stone, that's good. Um, there we go. Alright, so I need to build... Wait, do I build it in here, or do I... Yeah, here it is. So, oh, that's why it was giving me dirt and stone. <laughs> okay. Let's just, uh, <clears throat> let's just move on. We're not going to talk about that. Nothing to see here, people. Okay. Um, now, let's see if we can actually plant this in the ground using what I like to call the right way. As opposed to the wrong way. There. It's very close to that millstone, but I don't really care. Alright, so I need rope for this, which we don't know how to research. I need 15! Oh, that's what it was. I need 15 flax for this research, but then I need rope, which comes from this one, to do the other ones. Dang. So much flax is needed, and it's so hard for me to find it. Quite honestly, I don't know if that's just me. I really don't. It could be. Most people would probably be like, dude, it's right over there. I found a, bi a pile of it. It's not that hard. You know, I have no idea. Um, but I, however, seem to have a horrid time finding it. Uh, let's see. I think I have some more spare supplies in here for some more food because I need a little bit here. We're... we're not doing too hot on the food department. Okay, that should let us make some more. Heh! <laughs> let us make some more. Yeah. <clears throat> no? Okay. And we'll eat that one, and then store this one, I think. 
All right. That should be good for a minute. Um, this map really doesn't help me all that much other than I should probably go this way? I feel like I've been going that way because that's the road. So maybe I should go off this way or this way. Actually, yeah, let's let's go up the, the road and then go back in through here and see if we can find any more flax that way. Um, I'm pretty sure I already looted these barrels and things before. I don't remember finding any, but I mean, we might as well check while we're right here. And just make sure that there's no flax laying around here that we're just walking past. Oh. Apparently I did not empty all of these. I thought I did. Bandages. Crafted using healing herbs. They have no effect on food and stamina, but are stored on a large amount of health. Definitely did not loot these. Or I looted what I needed and I found it and then I ran off without finishing looting them. I don't know. I thought I got everything up here, but I guess I did not. Because I hadn't even seen bandages before. Okay. Now, if my map is right, which... Pff, who knows. I should be able... I don't know if there's fall damage or not. To go off in this direction. And maybe find some more? It's at this point that I feel bad for not paying my taxes, honestly, because if I paid my taxes on that uh, land area, I guess I could fast travel back to my house. So, you know, I feel like there's a lesson to be learned there. <laughs> Pay your taxes, kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I'm noticing the blue flower things more than anything. I'm definitely not seeing the red thorns. I know I've made that reference before. It's just so it's it's just so easy. It's blue flower. What other references are there to blue flowers? I'm sure there's a bunch, and everyone's gonna comment on them, telling me all of them. But you know, nothing comes to my mind. Oh wow, wow, that was fast. I guess I should be heading this way. A little turned around. Not gonna lie. But I think so, because that's east. And if this map is north, south, so this would be east. Yeah, I should be heading east. Okay. Oh, there's some more. I'm a little ner I'm, I'm a little nervous, though, and concerned because... Oh, there's some more. I need 15, but then I'd like to get at least enough to make another seed bag so I can plant these and not have to go running off after them all the time. Oh, we got 15 and 6, so that's one seed bag full. Nice. I've also heard... I don't know where I heard it from, but I've also heard that I think you need flax for rope. And since we need rope for two of those recipes, we're probably going to need a surplus. I'm guessing. But we're getting some pretty decent luck out here in this little field area here. With our flax finding. Maybe. And of course, of all things, I'm doing this like in the evening at dark, where, you know, everything is just this dull, washed out grass color and you can't hardly see anything. But we're not doing too terrible. Not doing too bad. I'd like to actually get, if I can help it, um, I don't know off the top of my head without knowing the recipe for rope. I don't know how much it takes. But I'd like to get 30 in total, because I can use 15 for research. And then, depending on the rope price or recipe, I could at least do like two seed bags and then maybe have some left over for rope. I don't know. I really, I'm, I'm guessing because I don't know how much it costs to do rope. There's 10. Oh, if we could just get five, maybe I'm being greedy. Maybe I should just do the research in two seed bags. That's 11, 12, three more. Three more. Two more! Come on! Come on! I just need two more plants. Just give me two more plants. I okay. Look, two more flax plants, guys. I turned around and it was like there's a um looked like an herb plant somewhere and a pumpkin. It was like, come on, that's just mean. You know what I was asking for. Don't do this to me, game. Seriously? Wait. 
What's that in the distance? Is that it? No, Jimmy, you're hallucinating again. Oh, darn. All right. Well, never mind. Okay. I think I saw this stuff, and I thought it was the little... You know, from the distance at night, that the cabbage could look kind of like a blue flower. Pe leave me alone. Just go away. <laughs> I've been out here all night looking for flex. Don't make fun of my... Uh, delusions let's call it a mirage let's say that that's it wasn't the cabbage i was really looking at that it was literally a mirage in the middle of a forest i mean i'm sure it's happened before some somewhere at some point in history maybe right uh one more and I'm, I'm like right at the edge of the forest so it probably won't spawn here it's probably gonna be way further out here because this game hates me um, although maybe, maybe, with any luck, I'll run in a different direction and there will be like a big patch that I constantly ran past multiple times. Because that's what happened before. Though in a way, I guess when you think about it, that could actually reinforce the idea the game hates me. Um, see like that, that little shimmer. See it's right there, right above that rock. That's kind of what I was seeing over there, and it was probably just the lighting engine. But I thought it was a shiny little blue petal. <sighs> Whatever. Stupid flax plants. Um, everything else I've been able to find without relative difficulty other than large stones, but that was because I was using the wrong tools and too high in the dirt level. Come on, one. Just one more stupid plant. That's all I want. Just one plant. Give it. Give it up, game. I will start tilling random pieces of ground, world, if you don't give me the plant that I- Ha! <laughs> oh, that actually worked. That's great. You threaten- threaten the earth and it gave me what I wanted. <laughs> Alright, I want a castle with moats and lava and- ballistas and I'm gonna start digging okay no maybe that's that's probably a little excessive uh, it's like nope I can give you a plant I'm not building your castle for you okay fine <sighs>okay so we have arrived back here at our little base of operations I did collect some trees on my way back too so we stockpiled our logs a little bit all right, so let's get this out of the way. What do we need here? We have the metal parts. Actually, I'm gonna grab those and I'm gonna actually put those in the stockpile that I have for large stones. Since I have one, we might as well use it. Oh, wait, no, crap, I didn't mean to grab that. Not that it's really been very useful. It's going, hey, don't blame me. It's not my fault you didn't build any weapons to use it. No, it's not. I'm sorry. I apologize, Weapon Rack. It's not your fault. Um, how many did I need for this? Ten. So three logs should do, I think. If my math's right, which, pfft, who knows. My math is, is very subjective like one minute i'll do some crazy calculation off the top of my head and it'll be totally right and then other times i, I just i seem to screw up simple math okay there we go weaving now it doesn't actually unlock any new stuff but it does give me the ability to use rope and other things so let's see what rope costs us uh, uh, if I can find out what place I need to make rope? Wait. Wait. Just wait a minute. It gives me rope. Where is rope? I don't see rope. Landscaping stakes. Okay, so they're here. Oh, I need a spinning wheel. Of course I do. Ugh. 
You know what? Just grab me all that. I, I'm never going to be able to stockpile logs. <clears throat> logs and timber. It just, it's not going to happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm getting a little choked up over here. <clears throat> Dang, you it. Alright. Hold on. Okay, so... Sorry about that, by the way. Recording seven episodes back-to-back will -back, do that to you. Um, once again, running out of space here, but oh well. So we have a spinning wheel. Of course we do, and that's rope. Two linen string, which is two flax. Hold on. So that's four flax per rope. I hate this game. <laughs> How much? Hey, 15 rope! What? Okay, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, <laughs> that's not happening anytime soon. Uh, flax seeds! Hello! We're gonna make some flax seeds. Okay, hold on. Before I do that, before I jump to conclusions, let's do some math real quick. So, gosh, stupid, stupid, just... <clears throat> I need two to make one, and I need two of these. So that means four flax per rope, and then I need 15 rope. 10 just for the defensive walls, which is arguably the more important one than the mechanized thing. So if I have 10, it's 40 flax. 40. Nope. 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 We're making some seed bags. Okay. I'm going to make a ginormous flax farm over here. I really wish I knew more about farming, though. Like, these don't seem to have grown at all. Uh, which makes me a little nervous. Because <laughs> I just put 15 flax into seeds, so if this doesn't make them grow right... Um, yeah, we're screwed. Oh, dang, I should have chopped that tree down first. I didn't know it would just delete it. Man. Alright, whatever. Flax farm, here we come. Get out of here, mushroom, you don't belong here. Okay. Let's check this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh! <clears throat> Nine? Ten. Okay, so you get double the plants per per flax that you put in. So you put in five, you get ten seedlings. That's cool. So as long as I keep five for essentially replanting, we should basically be good, I think. And if I ever want to, like, double it, I just need to... Well, actually, I'd, I'd always be doubling it. Well, no. See, basic math. Sometimes it just it screws with my head. Um, no, I, I wouldn't be doubling it every time. But, as long as I kept five around, like didn't use the last five of the plants that I had, I would have enough to replant another ten plants, but... The only way I'd be doubling it is if I kept doing what I just did, like harvest all of this and then go back and replant all of those seed bags and that would be the only way I'd be doubling. But So I made three, so that should give us 30, which <laughs> I need 40 just for that one stupid set of rope. Oh, gosh, and I need 45, don't I, for the, for the other one. Wait, no. No, that's not right. I need... Gosh, I'm, I'm tired. 75? I don't know. I need a lot. Let's just call it a day. I need a lot of stupid flax to get, to get what I need. Leave me alone. I've, I've recorded all day and been thinking and talking and doing and... Yeah, I don't want to math anymore. Don't follow my plants! Well, I guess it's okay. As long as you don't... As long as you don't delete my plants. That would have been bad. 
that would have been bad. But yeah, I don't have like a watering can or anything, so I don't know if there's anything I'm supposed to do with these, or if they just take a stupid long amount of time to uh, to grow, because the pumpkin is not growing, or at least very slowly. And with all the stuff going on, I really haven't had time to like look up the mechanics and it's, oh, it takes three in-game days to grow, you know, I haven't, I haven't looked any of that up. Ah, not the berries, the... See, this is the thing that uh, was kind of interesting about that whole log thing. Or, oh. I give up. I, I just, I quit. Um, rope thing. I'm staring at a log, which is why I said log. I meant rope. Just read, but just watch here. Like, wait, now it's not letting me do it. There you go. Like this. You could drag this over. I actually, now that I think about it, I think this was implemented a while ago when they didn't have like an inventory and you had to like physically drag everything around. But we could drag this over here. And then we could drag this one over here. And basically you could like actually be a logger kind of person and like drag everything to your to your stockpile here and then you could pick it all up and put it in the stockpile. Nope. Wrong way. Wow. That looks rather cool. I'm liking how that's looking. I mean, it's getting there, right? We're doing stuff. We're doing things. We got our, our own little area going here. What else did this give us? Spinning wheel, banner workstation, banners and flags, bandages, linen, rope, and land. Yeah, I should have noticed the spinning wheel thing. <clears throat> Now it says terrible rope. That's just terrible. <laughs> oh, I was laughing at myself as I said it. That's just terrible. I'm an idiot, by the way. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I would like to refer back to my previous statements of sometimes I can't do math. Though in my defense, it's not that I can't do math. It's that I totally missed the part that says crafting results is times five basic ropes. So it's four flax for five rope. So I only needed eight flax to make ten. And I needed twelve. <laughs> well... On the plus side, we have 12. <laughs> oh gosh. What did I end up saying I planted? Each seed bag gives us 10, so that's 30. I need 12 and I need 8, so that's 20. So I have 10 left over to make two more seed bags, which gives me 20 more plants. So I can clear this harvest, make my rope, make 20 plants, and then still be able to do the research if I can ever figure out how to get these to grow. There's stuff like... Um, there's a plow, a harvester, and a cedar. I don't see any kind of like fertilizer or anything like that. The cedar, I'm assuming, plants the seeds. The plow probably tills the ground, like the hand, uh, hand plow. And then the cedar plants the seeds, and then the harvester harvests them. So I don't see any fertilizer. I don't see any watering cans. Uh, so, yeah, I don't... Wait, did I do an ore stockpile? I just realized that what that said. That's stones and that stone. I never did an ore stockpile. That would probably be a good thing to have, wouldn't it? It's small. Do we have a large? Where, where was all my large ones? Oh, they were in the the menu thing, weren't they? Um, stones, timber, logs. I actually don't see a large one for ore. Well, that's interesting. For timber. Do I have timber set up? Uh, let's just grab a log. I swear. Trees. Trees just need to avoid me in this game. I'm a freaking lumberjack in this game. Always chopping down trees. You should go mine. Nah, I got trees. 
Okay, so let's grab that. And we'll put you... How about... How about right here? I think that works. And then we'll put ore in there. Yay! Stuff and things. Organization. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it. We're about out of time for this episode, so we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!